Now, why do I know? Now, the MVP manifesto line today called the life for Oye Oye or for the Takrade. Now, it is all based on in Yemebia, the MVP wants to Oye put Oye to the people of Ghana. And very, very interestingly, GSTS, very, very, very full. If I am for Tadi Hona, Tadi is a channel. They are doing whatever they have to do. They are bringing the whole town down just because of Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya and the MPP. But Mazan is sharing the share, 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 share. No mission on that on the video. Now, you see, as some of the national chairman, which is Oya Stephen Itim, on the Tuga Tama, Konya, Akonya, will be sent to South Africa. Granted. It is with heartfelt honor and a sense of duty that I stand up to the task as a president and your vice president. After the past eight years, under the visionary leadership of the president, Ghana has risen from the brink of despair. We are on the right path from where I sit, towards economic prosperity and have embarked on far-reaching institutional reforms essential for good and accountable governance within a stable economic democratic society. Our achievements are many, including the successful implementation of the free SHS STEM and TVET schools, mobile money interoperability, this transformative one district, one factory initiative, significant development through the infrastructure for poverty reduction programs, IPEP, the Agenda 111 hospital projects, among many others. However, as we all know, the journey has not been without any challenges. The coronavirus pandemic of the, and the Russian-Ukrainian war tested our resilience as a nation. But under the competent leadership of Mr. President Anadu Danko Ekufuadu and Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Bahumia, we navigated the turbulent times with determination and secured the health and safety of our people. So, as the president rightly put it, during the turbulent days, we know how to bring the economy back to life. What we do not know is how to bring people back to life, and I quote, Whilst working tirelessly to restore the economy from the clutches of the pandemic, these were the words that the president used to console us, and he delivered rightly on that. And all indications show that we are on the right path. Thank you, Mr. President. Today, we are not sharing a vision between us and the people of Ghana to promise that of we will work on both positions both so we work tirelessly as well as to build a society that is fair, inclusive, and forward-looking. As we approach another crucial election, Ghana needs a stable, firm, and competent leader who has to the challenging days ahead and years ahead. I'm proud to present Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and his running mate, Dr. Matthew Kukuku, with three hands needed to steer the vehicle of state towards the next Baumia administration. I humbly call on all Ghanaians, regardless of background, once again support the new patriotic party's flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and all our presidential candidates in the upcoming general elections. God bless Ghana. 
our homeland and continue to make us great. Let's close our ranks to ensure winning this election. Thank you. But as fate would have it, here I am. Having been waiting, talking to the world of decisions, convictions, and dreams. Registered to vote with a heart filled with gratitude. Registered to vote with a heart filled with gratitude. Fellow party friends, sadly I am not able to be with you in Takrade for this momentous occasion. It's such an occasion I shouldn't let pass without sending a message to you. Uh, when you present a manifesto, uh, it should be a manifesto that addresses the entire nation. When we unite strongly behind Dr. Bowie when the nation sees it, we shouldn't underrate anybody these days. There are no secrets anywhere. We are entreating the nation to give the world a chance because I said it before at UPS that I, I, I've known him for some time and I see him as a man of destiny. And it's particularly for the moment we are in now as a nation, I believe he is the man of the moment. The whole world is talking digitalization. Then when you look around the world, leaders must be imbued with a great understanding of geopolitics. Bania seems cut for the moment, cut for the occasion. Custom made has been exposed internationally. It was to do with finance. He's an international banker. He's studied politics. In fact, he was born into politics. And it's because of his loyalty to the tradition that the party gave him the chance to be the candidate. So please, we are presenting a custom-made candidate to Ghana, candidate that will digitalize the economy and social policy, a candidate that understands your politics and would relate his foreign policy, would bring on board a sound relationship whose core will be Ghana's best interests internationally. So today, I wish the, the conference in Takwadi God's blessings and all the success. Uh, so the manifesto 
our leader, our candidate, uh, is presenting will be received by all of Ghana in, in, in the confidence and trust that truly Baumia is the man of the moment, man of destiny, and a very insightful, humble person. Like, cut to, to lead. This is my message to you, and I wish you all well. Kukurudu. 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 God bless you. Thank you. the first president to have won elections for the new patriotic party in the fourth republic please let's give him a round of applause thank you very much we would always remember him for free maternal health care for introducing the national health insurance and for many other social interventions especially the livelihood empowerment against poverty program that has made more poor people inclusive in ghana's development your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the MPP inherited a Ghana in dire stress, needing intensive care in 2017. However, the party rallied together, just as we did during His Excellency, the former president, John Ejekum Kufo's era, and we turned things around. Between 2017 and 2019, there was evidence of growth, and the economy we held together grew by 7%. We created jobs, we introduced fee SHS, and we did a lot of positive things for our people. The digitization drive especially was in full swing. We acknowledge the difficulties that we've had to go through in recent times. But once again, we have seen and recognized the resilience of Ghanaians, and by the grace of God, who makes all things possible, we will turn things around again. We have started, and we have a firm belief that the strong legacies we have built will be the foundation for this. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and all party faithful here, please stay with us as we share with you except of the strong leaders that will be building Ghana's future on. Thank you. Thousand and seventeen, the NPP inherited a fragmented digital infrastructure that limited public service efficiency. Since then, we've revolutionized how services are delivered with the Ghana card and mobile money interoperability enhancing speed and end accessibility. Our efforts have greatly improved government interactions, making life easier for every Ghanaian. However, our vision doesn't stop here. We aim to further expand and modernize Ghana's digital landscape. The journey towards a fully integrated digital society continues. Stand with us. Vote for innovation. Vote for Baumia. Baumia means business. In 2000, MP of Wasi Ayurebi. Gana Mampeni Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. Nyanko Ponya Aduma 2025. Mampeni Dr. Mahmoud Baumiani Nabedi Etri. Dr. Matthew Okoko Prempe. MP Bimpeni Mfonyi na Amichamu Nina Awa Eradi Yesu Christo Dimu. Midi Indi Kwejo Opon Kruma Mifi of Wasi Ayurebi Constituency. Na Mada Roma, Menkomo no Edu Bebia, Mepo Toka Kra. Gana fo ni pa do duona Yanya Ben Duma, Yanye Brunia Duma, Yaye Dedi Fo, Yaye Equia Fo, Yaye Nsanu Juma, and untis a bain bi bana so peso boa gana fo do doa. Now so boa e dedi fo equia fo one my yensa nu juma. And was so far kwa hudo swa. Senior or Maduma Ebia and Krata, some Enkahono, 
Obebu ama omajuma afa abe fo kwantin ponso. That is why the Akufuado administration, with the strong support of Dr. Mahmoud Baumwa, adopted digitization. The Ghanaian economy, as you know, is hugely informal. And any economist worth his salt knows that there's a need to formalize the Ghanaian economy, to formalize it through digitization. When President Akufuado and Dr. Baumia first mentioned digitization, as usual, the naysayers did not believe them. They didn't understand the vision. They mocked and they joked and they called them names. But today, digitization is bearing fruit for many Ghanaians. Digitization, ladies and gentlemen, is not an end in itself. It is a means to an end. Digitization is designed to ensure that people can access government services faster and with more efficiency. It is designed to ensure that people's jobs and businesses can be enhanced. And that is why from 2017, a number of interventions were introduced. First, overhauling the Ghana National Card and National ID system. Second, introducing a robust mobile interoperability system. Third, ensuring that every address in Ghana had a digital ID system. Additionally, drones were introduced to ensure that essential medical supplies who moved to various parts of the country. And it was also a delight of His Excellency the Vice President to ensure that several government services can be applied for online. What has been the outcome? Today, there has been a boost in e-commerce and deliveries, creating jobs for thousands of Ghanaians. Today, there has been an increase in access to credit because it is easier for credit agencies and lenders to identify people and to identify where they live. Today, there's higher efficiency in government services because you can sit at home and apply for various government services. You can renew your national health insurance card, you can apply for passports, you can participate in tax and pension services. Today, the Ghana card has reduced the number of ghost names on our payroll and in return, save the Republic millions of Ghana cities. And by linking the Ghana card to the eSIM registration, identity fraud and mobile money fraud has been reduced. Thousands of lives have also been saved because of the drugs, the blood, and the essential services that have been delivered by drone. Nana Adudanko Akufuadu and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia have laid a firm foundation for digitization. And now, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe will build upon this digitization foundation moving forward. Ghana's economy requires the next level of formalization. And you can be sure, I said you can be sure, you can be sure that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe will take us there. We require selfless leadership bold solutions, and innovative ideas for the future. Digitization is just one of them. And Dr. Baumia and Dr. Prempe will deliver when you give them your vote to move Ghana to the next level. I thank you for your attention. Access to quality health care is a fundamental right, and under the MPP, we've made significant strides to ensure this for every Ghanaian. Two key initiatives like Agenda 111, which has built new medical facilities across the nation, and the establishment of the National Vaccine Institute with greatly enhanced healthcare infrastructure and capabilities, with empowered healthcare workers with better training and tools, leading to a noticeable decrease in mortality rates and improved immunization coverage. But our work isn't done. We're committed to further advancing our healthcare systems to ensure even broader access and higher quality of care. Join us as we continue to invest in a healthier future for all. Vote for Baumia. Baumia means business. I bring you nothing but the truth. I bring you facts back to back, back to back content. Number one, I share video, share, 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 share. Don't be so nice and come in. Maybe I share what you comment section. But from here, I'm going to make you scam. I'm going to crowd. Let's go.